We have a question about electronic hydronic baseboard heaters. Um, are they more efficient, or is there a way to find information about these? I'm not familiar with electronic hydronic. I Mark? think. Uh, no, do you mean electronic ignition of the boiler? Well, no, it's it, electric, uh, hy electric hydronic baseboard heating units. Yeah, are they more efficient? Joe, are they more efficient? Joe, they're oil filled and they have an electronic control that regulates the voltage as opposed to them going on and off, on and off. Thank you. That's the physics behind it anyway. But um, now, <laughs> it, how do we address the efficiency? It's still electric heat. And well, by one watt in, I, don't, I don't think they're any more efficient. Uh, and it's one watt in, one out, one watt out in heat. Um, I believe they base their savings on uh, the control of the baseboard uh, because typically with the on-off baseboard, there was such a delta T before that thermostat would shut down with a conventional <laughs> one, the room would overheat. I, I got to tell you, I don't... Um, from my technical background and my education, one watt in is one watt out, no matter how you slice it or dice it. And um, my answer to that question, no. They are not more energy efficient over a standard electric baseboard. I could probably get sued for saying that, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks That's for true. taking the risk. <laughs> All right. Is that helpful? Did you get that? Yeah. Uh, are these new um, hot water on demand hot water heaters any more efficient than the standard tank type hot water heaters, such as that Renai that Paul Harvey advertises? Uh, I, I, can I can answer that one. Okay. I'm going to let Joe answer that. <laughs> yeah, these um, hot water. The heaters on demand, actually they're not new, they've been used in Europe for decades. For those not familiar with them, the heater itself is underneath the kitchen sink or the bathroom sink or at the shower. The efficiencies um, are captured because there aren't the standby losses that the tanks have. Remember, when you have a 50 gallon or higher uh, or larger wa water tank that's heated with water, that's losing heat all the time, no matter how well insulated you have it. And then the same thing goes for the water that's in the pipes. That's why when you turn on the kitchen sink hot water faucet, you typically have to wait a while before the hot water gets to you. That's because the water that's been standing in those pipes, waiting there, has lost its heat, turned into cold water. That's where the efficiency gains are. Um, the disadvantage is in capacity. Um, depending on how many you have throughout the house, you might not be able to take two showers at one time, uh, things like that. They have to be sized correctly.